A supermoon rose on the night of April 26, so I was inspired to capture this spectacular scene. However, if you took the shot, you would probably get something which looks like this, and it's not really great. So in this video, I'd like to share with you how to get a better moon scene, and in the process learn some useful tools of Affinity Photo. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to keep the videos coming. Because the moon is such a bright object in the sky, it's very difficult for any camera to get both the foreground and the moon properly exposed in one shot unless you shoot it at some really optimal time. This image is typically what you're going to get. So the best way is to shoot the moon and the foreground separately and merge them together in an image editor. So let me take you through this process with Affinity Photo. Step 1, take the photo of the main scene. I recommend you use a low ISO to get the cleanest possible image. As you can see here, I used ISO 100 and an aperture of f4. My shutter speed was set at a pretty long 6 seconds, which requires that I use a tripod. So here's the image I got, and as expected, the moon is devoid of any details. Step 2 is to take the photo of the moon. If you don't know how to do that, watch my previous video on the topic. I'll leave a link in the description. Step 3, open both images in Affinity Photo. Step 4, select the moon. Click the quick selection tool and just brush over the image to select. As you can see, some of the edges are irregular and were not properly selected. For that, I'll use the Refine Selection tool. Click Refine, accept the defaults, and brush over the edges, and let the tool do its magic, which is to select the irregular edges. Click Apply. Once done, copy the selection. Step 5, paste the selection into the moonlit scene. You will notice that a new layer is created. Drag the moon to its location. The moon currently looks abnormal because of the different exposures. So I'm going to adjust the tones to make it look like how I saw it that night. With the moon layer selected, Click the Developer Persona. This will allow access to the Tone Adjustment Tools. So I'll increase the exposure to make the moon brighter. Reduce the blacks. And increase the temperature. And finally, decrease the opacity. So now that we're done with the moon adjustments, I'll make some other global adjustments, like adjust the color with the HSL tool, which stands for Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. I'll merge the two layers together and make some shadow and clarity adjustments. And there you have it. Here's the before and the after. A huge difference, don't you think? So I hope this video gave you some understanding of not just how to capture a better moon scene, but also how to use the tools of Affinity Photo to help in this process. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like to keep the videos coming. And if you have any questions, do put it down in the comments. Until the next time, bye!